Hey Crafty Nistas, I'm back with another project. So in today's project, I picked up most of my items from Walmart. Uh, this pillow came from the sewing section in the back. It's a Premier brand. It's a medium size. Um, although it's very tiny, it says medium. I believe that's for the firmness, I think. Um, but I also picked up this iron-on hem tape. I believe this was ninety either a dollar ninety-seven cents. Um, it worked very well. I also picked up this Waverly brand, a fat quarter. Um, I would have got two of these. I'm not a sewer, so I ended up using some of my white scrap fabric and. I also used this craft felt. All those items were a dollar or less. Um, and the pillow, I think, was a couple of dollars. So this is about a $5 project. I printed out a, a picture of a tooth. I'm going to use that to cut out. And also um, got some no-sew glue from my stash um, to help later on. Here I am just pressing out my fabric, getting it nice and straight. And in doing so, I messed up my iron ward uh, with an iron and water and rust. Uh, so sorry for the dirty ironing board. It wasn't like that before I started. So here I'm just using the no the iron on tape and using my super super sharp uh, fabric scissors and going ahead and cutting the hem tape um, after I cut down my fabric to size I just cut it down and left about a couple of inches all around the side of my pillow so here I'm using a super wet um, cloth I just wet it down every time I get ready to press and you're not supposed to, on the instructions, you're not supposed to really um, move it back and forth. You're just supposed to set it down and press, and this works very well. And note to anyone using the tape, do not leave your roll of tape right by your iron. It will melt in that section. So I don't have a smooth roll right now. It's kind of melted in one area. I'm just kind of pulling it off there. But as you can see, I'm pulling it on the side it is nice and firm together so that tape works very well i was wondering whether i should get the name brand or that and i'm glad i did i saved money and it works really well so once i got all my sides together i i did all three three sides so i can be able to get the pillow in i'm just flipping my pillow ends um, to the right side inside out right there and going to slide my pillow in so once I slid it in I went on and this is just the most uh, difficult part right here is just trying to get the last part um, in to get the pillow to uh, tie it together so I had to do a couple of adjusts and use some pens there to actually get that to press together. Here I'm just cutting out the tooth and then I went on cut out the felt to use that pattern to cut that out and then I just did some rough stitching. So great that this is for kids because my goal is to get a sewing machine and actually start sewing some projects um, in the next year so hopefully I will accomplish that but for right now this no sew projects are perfect so I've used my no um, melting basting tape and also um, the glue to glue that in real good and just from the bottom um, so I can use the pocket up top I also got these googly eyes, they're from my stash, um, I just went on and put them in one of my little containers. I got those from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use those also with the fabric glue that I have and stick those right on the felt. Um, also 
just cracked a little crooked smile um use that to stitch that on there and my project is finished there's a tooth fairy pillow for my little girl <laughs>